Sometimes we need to step forwards. Sometimes it seems that life is full of obstacles and miseries. But it is only because we do not have the goal clear in our heart. Sometimes we deal with too much stress and worries, but it's because we do not know the face within ourselves. Sometimes we feel it's all the other people who get lucky, but it's because we have not tapped our own luck fulfilling faith. Whatever be the problem, the solution is always to be in touch with our divinity. The ancient rishis meditated deeply on all problems and solutions and realized whatever be the temporary phase. The changeless is always Shiva. We too can start our journey back to our origin. We too can enable ourselves to be fearless travelers on the Shiva journey. But sometimes the hardest steps on a journey is the first one because we do not know the path. And there are so many journeys that never happen because our mind is always changing its op opinion. This indeciveness is the part of the problem. If we need help, there is nothing wrong with it. Asking for the guidance is not a sign of weakness, but rather shows inner faith and strength. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. In these unpredicted times, life can be very challenging. Isolation, lockdown, curfew. We have never heard these terms before as much as they have now become a part of our life. And sometimes we start feeling lonely, stressed out, listless and drained of energy. Sometimes when we feel that things have taken a huge turn, whatever due to a personal situations, all then these turbulent times, we wonder if can get back to a fulfilling, joyful life again. We want Om Shanti peace and Om Anand happiness. The truth is that humanity has always had its challenges, whether personal, like that in case of the Buddha, 
or collectively. Like that when the world went through world's world war, economic depressions, recessions, plague and pandemics in the past. And the way out is always to discover and experience a higher dimension of ourselves. And when we discover that higher self, we feel as if we have rebooted ourselves into a new person, a changed person, an energetic person. And we are ready to start enjoying our life again by playing out our own plans and accomplishing our goals. We are ready to be truly honest to our own ideals and visions. The regimes of Kashmir who were lucky to have the revelations of Shiva handed down to them as teachings by their ancestors, learned how to connect to their own divinity and live through any circumstances by synchronizing the spiritual journey with the day-to-day -day life. We too can assist that great heritage of ourselves because she was both whole true as a timeless teaching, good for any time, including our present. Om Namah Shivaya, 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 Om Namah Shivaya.
to the book. Close the book, Lex. Close the book. A good meditator knows he is in rhythm with a great force. This force has not come by will or command, but it is just present in existence. Now the attitude of mastery over the energy is the wrong one. No one need to master the universe. It belongs to us all. You cannot interrupt it upon the force. You must not manipulate it. This is short-lived and put you back in ultimate analysis. This is more like a dance, a perception. You have been drawn by the force. Therefore, accept it as the initiator of the dance. You are conscious of your own rhythm. Now follow its steps. Let it lead to you to spontaneity. Enjoy the dance. When you are both in perfect harmony, when you are both merged into the dance, when you have so far responded to hear every call, when she finally accepts you as a mate. You will learn to make a new step and she shall respond. This is not mastery of one over the other. This is a mating of two masters. A jiggle bandhi, a duet. The eternal meditator as the transcendence and the eternal energy force tapping at the manifest. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Relax. Shiva is Purusha. Parvati is Prakriti. Shiva is visionary, Parvati is creative. Shiva is giver of soul, Parvati is the giver of body. Shiva is God, Parvati is mother nature. Shiva knows the Srishti Rahasya, Parvati asks him to teach it to the children. Shiva has the map to the mountain of divinity. Parvati asks him to make the children climb. Shiva is alone and quiet in his dhyana. Parvati asks him to put his experience in the wisdom of words. Shiva plants the seed of self in our heart with his talks. Parvati waters those seeds to bloom into the garden of realization. So to the present both make us prakriti. In this splendid play of their with equal stake, 
in the Shaivism of Kashmir. The Rishis firstly call her Madani, the wife of the gardener. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. In the outside, you are just like anyone else. One of millions of windows in a crowding housing society. But inside, you know you are the only one of your kind. Just like that. The inside of your home is exclusively designed. You know deep in your heart that you are special to God. Not in an arrogant sort of way. Not superior to others but like a special friend. He and you both know your bound. Why does this feeling happen? Because the reality is that you come from the supreme consciousness of God. You come from the primal one and over many lifetimes you have known it, explored it, played in its shelter and now you want to know it once more. Why wait? Take your step and begin the inner journey once again. All through the daily course of life 
you have know that secrets scared special bonds so move on to sing along with him once again the eternal song once again the eternal song om namah shivaya 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 Shiva and Shakti are the essentially one. It is said in the very first verse of Kalidasa's Raghavamsha's that Shakti and Shiva stand to each other in the same relationship as the world and its meaning. Just as 48 Shakti Yoga philosophy, heat and fire are in separable so shakti and shiva are inseparable shiva cannot do anything without shakti ma this is emphasized by sri shankaracharya in the first verse of saundhara lahri shakti is like the snake with motion shiva like the motionless snake waveless ocean is shiva ocean with waves is shakti the transcendental supreme being is shiva the manifested immanent aspect of supreme is shakti shiva is attributeless he is nishkriya shakti is the attributes she creates 
Shakti is compared to rope made of tricolored twigs. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya.
is total and complete service in this lack of our attitude. The powerful be humble, make no claims. Close your eyes gently and feel the breath. The breath should be deep and long. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, take a deep breath. Keep your both hands below your belly. Then take a deep breath, raise your both hands upwards and, and forwards. Drop your head to reach downwards. And slowly release to your feet. Exhale, deep inhalation, deep exhalation. 
Where is it, bro? Stretch your hands. Not coming down. Inhale, exhale.
Magrasen.